Breaking up is hard to do. Anyone who has gone through a breakup knows that a broken heart can be difficult to mend. This universal emotional response to the sudden, unexpected, or unwanted loss of love is often characterized by an intense longing, hurt, and or desire for an ex or unrequited love. And it can hurt like hell. Yes, it can hurt like hell. So how do you heal a broken heart? You gotta take your time. Breaking up can trigger chemical, emotional, and physical reactions that cause you to feel lonely, unlovable, depressed, and worthless. That's not just going to go away with a new haircut, maxing out your visa with a new wardrobe, or hitting the club. Instead of pushing yourself to move forward quickly, take time to acknowledge how you are feeling. Bottling up your emotions may seem like a good idea in the short term, but it can lead to unwanted long-term consequences, such as bitterness, a jaded view of relationships, fear, depression, a poor self-image, and serial dating. Your thoughts might be distorted, but your feelings are real. Take the time you need to explore them. Have a good grief. Along with breaking up comes the loss of a relationship with your ex, some mutual friends, and your ex's family. But the loss doesn't end there. You might lose your home, your perceived social status, and whatever future you imagined you might have had with your ex. Just like with any loss, you need to give yourself the time and space to grieve. What is no more? Now, this is easier said than done. The natural reaction is to avoid this because it seems too painful to face reality. But avoiding this part of the process can lead to depression, anxiety, low self-esteem, suppressed immune system, physical manifestations such as body tension, despair and obsessive thoughts, and yes, the inability to move on. Though it can be physically and emotionally unpleasant at times, grieving gives you a greater sense of being in control and feeling empowered. You do not want to enter your next relationship guarded, making negative predictions, and pushing your partner away by pleading, don't go breaking my heart. Grieving is a necessary part of the healing process and the path to getting unstuck and moving on in a healthy way. Be mindful. To manage the unpleasant sensations, thoughts, and feelings, try practicing deep breathing, body scans, meditation, and other mindful activities. Allowing things to flow freely without trying to control, stop, avoid, or manipulate them will make them less powerful, loosens their grip on you, and gives you the confidence and skill you need to act in the face of them. Date yourself. The brokenhearted often struggle with remembering who they were before their recent breakup. They see themselves in the context of the relationship and forget that they were once fully functional, interesting, and even desirable people when they were single. Your relationship should not have defined you then, and it certainly should not now. Dating yourself is a way for you to become more mindful of how you are feeling, what is going on in your mind, and why you might behave in a certain way. Remember why you broke up. It may be painful to recall what your ex said when things ended, but it is a necessary part of moving on. There is a reason why you are no longer together. Whether it is because they are no longer attracted to you, you cheated on them, 
or they have a higher calling and are leaving you for God. You need to accept the reality of why the relationship has ended. So you